Hey, happy Monday to you. This is day eight in my 21 days of prayer and fasting. Looking at James chapter two, verses 14 through 17. Let me read it to you very quickly. What good is it, my brothers, if a man claims to have faith but has no deeds? Can such faith save him? Suppose a, a brother or sister is without clothes and, and daily food. If one of you says to him, go, I wish you well, keep warm and well fed, but does nothing about his physical needs, what good is it? In the same way, faith by itself, if it is not accompanied by action, is dead. Now this particular passage in the book of James is probably the most recognizable uh, in that book. Most Christians, I think, whether they are uh, familiar with their Bibles or not, are, are at least acquainted with these verses, especially the part the King James Version uh, translates as faith without works is dead. This is also part of the book of James that uh, addressed the controversy in the first century. The Apostle Paul talked about how we are saved by grace uh, through faith uh, and not by works so that none of us can boast. And some Christians quite honestly thought that that meant it wasn't necessary for them to do anything with their salvation for someone else. James, of course, thinks this is nonsensical, and he doesn't really believe that that's what Paul meant. And so what, what he tends to do is he goes back and addresses it. So if we ascribe to the law of love, as we talked about the other day, there's no way we can allow our faith to be sedentary. One of the problems that I see with the church today is that far too many believers uh, want to have a relationship with Jesus, but don't want to exert the effort that comes along with cultivating it. You and I are called to put our faith into practice. Now, there is a danger of the opposite extreme, of course, and that is that some will believe that all they have to do is good deeds, just do great works, and they will inherit the eternal life. It doesn't work either way. It is one's faith which we receive from God through his grace that motivates us to perform good deeds. And good deeds alone then cannot and do not lead to faith. Now, it may sound callous and insensitive, but hell is going to be filled with people who died having done marvelous deeds while living. If we compare, combine these verses with the preceding verses about the royal law of love, then we should be able to see that our focus on our own goals and objectives without looking to the interests of others uh, is incompatible with our walk of faith. So today, open your eyes to see those that are around you who are hurting or in need. Ask yourself, what can I do to give them hope, bring them peace, or feed and clothe them? Because apart from my faith, works without my faith is dead. Let me pray with you. Dear Lord, forgive us for settling for lifeless faith. Help us to be more like you in all we say and do. Keep us from using our busy lives as excuses for looking over and through people. Give us the capacity to point people to where they can find help if we can't provide it ourselves. Enable us to be caring and compassionate even as you have been and continue to be with us. Help us to show forth that your love and concern for the least of these among us are just that hurting sister or brother with whom we encounter. Today, when we ask somebody how they are, let us be earnest enough to care enough to take time enough to truly listen and pray for that person. Amen. Hope I'll see you again. Bye.